Oh my god, I love your your, your top. Oh, thank you. Can I see it? Let me see. No, that's not yeah, true, is yeah, it? Is yeah. it? Yeah. Jamaica. See? <laughs> Have yeah. you guys ever been to Jamaica? Well, I made I new friends. Yeah. You'd love to yeah. go to Jamaica. It's the best place I've ever been. That's really long. <laughs> that's really long. I'm from Jamaica. It's amazing. Have you ever been there? No, but I'm looking to go. <laughs> yes, please. Yes. Jamaica. No. Hello. We are in England. England. We are in London, Gatwick. <laughs> Just across the street of the airport and it's pretty raining. Okay, it's not really raining. It's it's drizzling. But if you're from London, you know the type of rain that that falls here. It's a little crazy. One minute it's really hot, the next minute it's really windy and now it's raining. So I want to try and figure out what the people of England think about Jamaica. As somebody who has just landed from Jamaica, I am so intrigued and I want to know, intrigued and I want to know exactly how the thing goes. Whoa, whoa. Let us go. Guys, one thing about the uk is you can talk to yourself everybody is minding their business and that's something that i really really loved in jamaica the interaction was wild the interaction and the love was out of this world here somebody will see you coming and they're already looking at you in some in some weird manner eh? oh my god i love your your, your top oh, thank you. can i see it let me see. No, that's not yeah, true. Is yeah, it? Is yeah, it? Yeah. Is it? Oh yeah. my god. Wow, it's yeah. really nice. <laughs> oh my god. That's one of the people that is actually really friendly. And you can tell he's not from the UK because of the accent. So I'm asking him. Um, I told him that I really like his, his outfit. And he's like, yeah, I've actually been working out. <laughs> and you can genuinely see it's just satire. here. It's usually a little, a little different. It takes a lot of courage. Huh? To just take your camera out and start recording in London. Hey, I'm telling you, it's crazy. Mm -hmm. wow. and this London weather is also another thing. Because one, it was just sunny the other minute. Now, it's, it's all... It's weird. Weird and crazy. But anyway, at least that's a reason to always go to Jamaica, right? Yeah, and let me tell you, I don't know if this has happened to you guys. I've asked for this coaster, okay? So usually, I just see people online having coaster, coaster iced tea, and it, oh, it has always sounded cool. So when I went there, I was like, give me some coaster. Which one? And I was like, iced tea in it. So they gave me this one, guys. Right? If I tell you this thing tastes weird. <laughs> it's really weird. Because it's literally just tea and ice. Like, I don't know what I was expecting anyway. Now what do I do? Because all the elevator also just go upward, upstairs and that one as well. I guess we'll have to use the lift. Alright? Alright, so for anybody who has never been to Gatwick, this is how the Gatwick airport looks like. It's really crowded, but not as crowded. I have seen other airports that are very, very crowded. But one thing for sure, the, the Qatari airport is one of a kind. These are the departure area, departure, check-in and, and backdrop. I want to show you a different place, guys, as well. Just hold on, let's go to the lift and get something done. All right, let's go. I have no option and no choice but to drink this this coaster of mine because because what will i do and it's really cold and there's ice inside guys stay away from peer pressure just stay away don't do something because people are doing it so i'm in the lower floor and it's still very much crowded and the elevator still goes up i think i feel like it's a one-way it's a one-way thing hi it's just a one-way thing and this is where you connect uh, to the next I mean, all that's where that's where I was the other time, and my husband was like, "No, it's a it's a shuttle. It's not a taxi. It's not a train station. What is this? Is it this a train?" <laughs> yeah. 
Yeah, isn't this a train? And guys, this is something that I've always wanted. I don't know if I'm being petty or it's valid. Just just hear me out, guys. Most of the time I see in um, international uh, stops, I just see particular languages. There are some languages that will never miss. You find maybe Spanish, Spanish, there's Chinese, there's British and all that. Can you imagine if they included and incorporated also some few an international African language for people who might not actually speak any of these languages? Let me know your, your thoughts on that, guys. And also, how can we advocate for a direct flight from Africa to Jamaica? Because I'm telling you guys for free, a lot of people have been inspired by my, by my trip and a lot of people want to travel to Jamaica. Now everybody is singing, I want to go to Jamaica, I want to experience Jamaica because we've done a good job. Big shout out to D. Mwango, Kino Life in Jamaica, Esther and everybody who is working hard to make sure that the, 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 the information has been changed, man. So my question is, how can we advocate for free direct, not free, how can we advocate for direct flights to Jamaica? Because we are one, Africans want to come and see our brothers. And I'm very sure also there are Jamaicans who genuinely want to come and visit Africa. For example, guys, do you know that Jamaica is visa free for Kenyans, right? It's totally visa free. I didn't need any visa. All I needed to do was to land in Jamaica. But now the problem comes in when I cannot uh, uh, access Jamaica directly. I have to pass through middlemen because now I, I had to pay for my flight twice, man. I had to move from Kenya to UK. That's, that, that's a whole flight from UK to Jamaica. That's another flight. Those are two different journeys. I took a total of 20 something hours on the way. Something that should have been around, um, around maybe eight is it really 18 something that should have taken maximum of 15 hours i took more than 24 hours on the road so if there's suggestions guys let me know in the comment section how do we go about this because we are one we are we need i also need my caribbean brothers and sisters to come to the african side come and visit mama africa i will be so happy when i see ja jamaicans touring kenya experiencing the safari the elephant the lion there's this amazing place in kenya where if you go visit you eat to the giraffes can you imagine you'll be sitting down and the giraffes will come you will feed them with their long necks you can also go to them um, it's called shepherds shepherds not really shepherds it has an it's um Shadrachs, eh? the Shadrachs place where they, they rescue elephants. So you can adopt an elephant and have an elephant uh, that you feed yourself. Oh my God, guys. Oh my good God. Men, come over. Let me know in the comment section what are some of the things that we can do as Africans and Jamaicans to make sure that everything is smooth and running. Oh my God, I feel like my nose right now. I'm getting crazy sinuses because of, of this particular one. Huh? Charity. I'm doing myself in Gatwick, London. Huh. I feel like I just have to do away with it because I'll get, I have like really, really, really bad sinuses. And if I continue, hey, sorry guys for that. Like I said, man, don't do things because you see people doing them on social media. It's not cool. Oh, I'm sorry, 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 sorry. I forgot I went the wrong way because it's a one way. So I have to go all the way down to the arrivals and figure out how to get out of the airport. All right, let us go. Ooh. What do you guys think about this airport? I actually really like it. I find it um, interesting. Even though I still love the Qatar airport. If you have not watched my Qatar video, man, go and watch the Qatari International Airport. The Qatar airport? Oh, man. What's, what's failed me? What's failed me? But this is how the airport looks like. We have a couple of shops here. This one is called Boots. Oh, I love Boots. I always try and buy some things when I'm in London. And just... Um, because you know what guys most of the things here are a little bit more afford affordable compared to the ones in the house let me check if my foundation is done i'm gonna get some few 
makeup the thing is i have most of them so i'm just browsing to see if there's anything that i need by any chance if there isn't then all right i'll just have to leave what is this nozzle spray nozzle spray i don't know if i need that because now i have really bad sinuses i can i might take that but not sure really And also, I have like very divided opinion about this stuff. At times, I don't really think they, they do their purpose because I've had them in the past and they just end up being really soft. I don't fancy them. Let me know in the comment section what you guys think about them. When you're traveling, eh? do you think they play a role or are they just overrated? All right, there's a couple of SIM cards here. I really wanted to buy a SIM card. I don't know if I should go ahead because now that I'm traveling tomorrow, I don't think I need it really because I don't have internet and the only time I, I get internet is when I go back to the hotel. But because I'm already traveling, I'll just have to persevere, you know, a few here and there. And we have international snacks here. <laughs> so I'm not such a sweet tooth. Okay, I'm, I'm actually kidding. I think I am, but not so much. I'm not extremely a sweet tooth these are some of the of the of the drugs that have just been introduced to kenyans and the kenyan youth <laughs> they are tearing that apart man it's crazy it's a little crazy maybe i should buy for my sister some chocolate for my baby um no my new mom had already said my baby is not gonna have chocolates until a certain age you know i'm so 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 overprotective when it comes to my baby guys oh you guys don't even understand so this is m and s simply food this is one of the popular shops around so if you are not from the uk uh, i'm just helping you guys take a little tour okay <laughs> a little tour of how our shops look like and if you're from the uk big up yourself in the comment section big up yourself let me know some of the things that i might have missed Oh, sorry. Yes? Uh, what's your YouTube channel name? Sean Arwa. Do you have a phone I could help you, right? Uh, you no, go? I don't have a phone. But, okay. um, Will you really remember? I, I, do you have like a pen and paper? If you help don't, me hold okay. this, let me check. Okay. You want to check me out? Yeah, sure. Okay. That's your papa? Uh, yeah. Oh, Does he so have cool. a phone? Maybe I can, I can run to yes. Dad, okay, um, come see. here real quick. Okay, yeah, I'm okay. She has really followed me and she's oh, like... No, she just said, oh, can I just speak that language on the YouTube channel? <laughs> like, do you want to be a YouTuber? Uh, yeah, I do. Yeah, it's so amazing. Try yeah. it. What do you want to do, love? Sorry, yeah? She, she wants me to show her my YouTube name. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah. Sure, YouTuber. Where are you guys going? Uh, we're just going down back home to uh, Grosan. Okay. Have yeah. you guys ever been to Jamaica? No. no. Try it. Go. I'm just from Jamaica. I've got a couple of students. I'm Kenyan. Uh, I'm Kenyan, Grenada. but... Uh, Oh. Grenada and uh, Jamaica. They are from Jamaica? Yeah, yeah. Oh, wow. Try and go to Jamaica. Ask your daddy to take you to Jamaica. Honestly, you will not regret it's it. Lovely, <laughs> it's so, yeah. it's so oh, beautiful. Really tough, tough. Okay. Let me write it for you. Sean. Arrow. This one. Here we go. Oh. Yeah, it's so amazing. I went to Jamaica. I was cooking. Yeah. Okay. Okay, so thank you so much, no okay? You thank you. Bye-bye. Take care. <laughs> okay, guys, so those are some of the things that happened. She just ran and she was like, oh, can I, can I talk to you? What's your YouTube channel? Oh, that's good. Let me buy some grapes. Let me know, guys, what type of grapes do you like? Do you like the green one or the red one? I love the red one. I love, 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 love the red ones because most of the time they are, they, they are so sweet and you just enjoy them. The, well, the green one, it depends. At times you can find one that is really sweet and at times you can find one that is not sweet. So it's a bargain. But when it comes to these red ones, oh, it's a guarantee. It's a guarantee. You will always, always find the, the sweet one. Another thing that is usually strange to me in the UK is this. We do not have something like this back home this one over here <laughs> let me show you guys just be patient we do not have this type of oranges that have already been peeled <laughs> in the supermarket let me know if you've seen if you've ever seen this before oranges that have been peeled and sold <laughs> oh my god it's so weird they, have, they even have mangoes that have been peeled already and pineapple i think this is um 
popo. No, this is not popo. They say this is melon, melon chunks, melon chunks. So, but this is also something that I have never seen. <laughs> I haven't seen the oranges as well, and I'm so skeptical. I don't even think I'm gonna buy it. Or should I just buy it and try? I'm such a fan of oranges, but no, let me just skip that. Oh, another weird thing, or let me say new, for lack of a better word, let me not use weird, is the apple. I have never experienced this. Guys, if you've seen this before, let me know in the comment section. Let's keep these segments very interactive. Let's educate each other and tell each other the truth. What is this? This is something else that really, really stresses me when it comes to pronunciation. Pomegranate. I like, like, the reason I say pomegranate, pomegranate. <laughs> yeah, so usually they are bigger, but now they have uh, decided to also remove it and make it in and make it smaller small pieces i only know how to say that in swahili but now i want to i want to look man there is literally watermelon also that have been chunked wow this is really new to me really really new even all the times i've been in the uk i haven't seen this maybe it's because i i, I don't shop in m and s but that is so new of course i know of this i know of this fruit salad fruit salad is something that i have seen so many times even back home even in in jamaica i saw fruit salad but what i have never seen is something like this specifically this orange i have never seen that right so let me know guys if you have seen that before and also pancakes i don't think back home we have pancakes being sold in the supermarket like already made pancakes i i i doubt i doubt i don't think i have seen that before let me know guys if this is something that is normal to you guys something that you have experienced but i'm very sure people who are in the uk most of my fans who are uk based have seen all of this if you have please make this segment very interactive let us let's educate each other i know my jamaican people who are in the uk know these things know how the thing goes this one I have seen so many times. This was one of my favorite. But now I have a flu. If you have a flu, you have a cold, you have something like that, you cannot be eating sweet things, cold things, and all that. That's why I decided to throw away my drink and just, you know, what about it? What is this? This is just two boiled eggs. Hey! <laughs> two boiled eggs i know my nigerian people when they see this they'll be punching the air because this, this is something that i haven't seen as well oh my good god anyway let us go on as we buy this i'm deciding i'm gonna settle on this and also let me put it here so that i don't forget i might take what is this guys let me know if it's just me or this is everybody at times i really shy away from buying already made and packed meals more so in the supermarket i don't know why i just usually feel like maybe they are not fresh maybe they're not freshly made or maybe something that might go wrong like there's always just a little something running in my brain saying um mm, no but in the uk guys they are known for just packaging food all the time so many ready-made packaged food in the uk man i don't know why Guys, the UK is, is really crazy when it comes to packaging food. I feel like this is something that is very common abroad where you just cook so many food and package in the in like variety. Like now this what what is this? Scottish salmon and pasta. Eish. Scottish salmon and pasta. All this I'm, I've already cooked food. Look at this cooked food. Cooked food. There's even meat here, meat and pasta. So all you have to do is to go ahead and warm it. Alright? everything is ready look at this even chicken buns tiny tiny chickens all you have to do is to just go and warm it i love prawns <laughs> and i'm so tempted to buy that but you know what let's stick to the diet if i'm supposed to buy something i'd rather buy a salad Let, let's just go with this i think this is gonna do or i can as well as go around finish showing you guys around then come for this because i'm still gonna pass pass through here anyways let me put this here so I don't, no, 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 it was right. Okay, let me put it here because I'm still com coming to have it, right? Okay, so let us go and snacks, man. There's a lot of snacks and a lot of sugar here. And the self checkout. Let me tell you guys, the very first time I saw the self checkout, I was so shocked. I had never seen 
the self checkout before so what you do is you come here nobody's here to serve you you put your stuff you see where they say pay for your shopping you go there and scan your first item let me go and get something so that you guys can just see let me buy the 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 grapes <laughs> let me buy the grapes so that i can show you of course i know there are so many people who know how these things go but for the few who do not know feel free to learn feel free to learn we are always here trying to encourage each other and show people how the thing goes hi what's your name sorry what's your name Emanuela. Yeah. where are you from nigeria but oh, you don't look like that do you really yeah i thought you were jamaican Okay. Do you want to say hi to my YouTube channel? Do you want to say hi to my YouTube channel? Say hi. But I'm not Jamaican actually. Oh really? Yes. Oh, be, be, because of the hat? Yeah. No, I'm from Jamaica right now. Oh. Yes, I'm Kenyan. Oh really? Yeah. I'm <laughs> but a I'm. Friend. What's her name? Uh, Lucy. Lucy who? So I can tell you her tribe. Uh, no, I try and learn her her, her, her African name. <laughs> But I'm from Jamaica, it's amazing. Have you ever been there? No, but I'm looking to go. <laughs> yes, please, yes, please. Try your best and go. Oh, it's yeah. amazing, oh, man. Yeah. Thank you, thank you so much. So, guys, here we go. I'm going to show you what happens, how the thing goes in the self-checkout. So when you get here, you just say start, all right? And then you're supposed to scan. So you look for that. It's right here. Then you scan it. Here. Is that so? Where do I scan it? Here? Yeah. Right? Oh, sorry, sorry. I forgot. So once you scan it, this is what it's, it brings about. Red grape, two pound, and then finish and pay. So, no. Should I get a bag? Yes, one bag. One bag. And then I'm going to go in with my card. Please select your payment method. Okay, wait a minute. I'm going to go in with my card. Where is my card right here? C contactless and cardless, so that will Please bring up prompt. Your card on the payment device. Okay, payment confirmed, and then just like that, I am done. Thank you so much. So I have finished. This is my bag, and now we are heading out. Okay. Okay. So you see, easy peasy, lemon squeezy. So this is where I am. Okay. So this is where I am right now. That is really easy. It's something that I like, but I have mixed reaction and opinion towards it. Because this is a guy. When nobody is there at the counter working, it means somebody somewhere is jobless. <laughs> I don't know if, if you guys also have looked at it on that side. When in the counters, nobody is there, nobody is working. It means there is somebody who was replaced by the machines. So that only means a lot of people end up being jobless because the human labor is being is being replaced by machines. But again, on the other hand, it's pretty fast. You know, it's pretty fast. Back home in Africa, and I saw that in Jamaica as well, um, we do not have such stuff. You sit at the counter, you find uh, people sitting down, ready to serve, waiting to serve. They are called the cashiers. You find the cashiers there who will serve you, who will show you about. And even in the supermarket, you find people standing at different corners trying to give you direction. Here, there is nothing like that. It makes me have like mixed reaction. Let me know, guys, in the comment section what do you think about that? What do you think about the fact that there are no cashiers? Is it a good thing or a bad thing? Like I said, <laughs> to me, it's 50-50, it's mixed. But there are times when I really feel bad about it because I know so many people, so many of my, so many people, so many black people leave their countries coming to the UK to try and better their lives back home, try and seek employment, only for them to come here and they realize that there is no employment. And it's so expensive. Guys, I live in the UK and get this from me, specifically London. The houses are so expensive. And can somebody tell me why the houses in London are so tiny? <laughs> can somebody just explain to me why the houses in London are so tiny and very expensive? This is me being very serious. I want to understand because it's something I have never understood. I look around. It, let me tell you guys, the, the, the funniest, the worst thing that can ever happen to you is for you to exchange 
the amount you pay in London in your local currency. Eh? <laughs> Love it, guys. When my husband told me how much we pay for rent, I quickly changed it to my local currency. Hey, I regretted. I said, what? For this two-bedroom apartment? This? No. I don't think it's worth it. No, 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 no. The African in me was battling and saying, no, 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 no. That has to change. So I'm so curious. Why are the houses very expensive? And again, expensive is very relative. Maybe I might be saying it's expensive and somebody somewhere is saying, no, it's not expensive, you just can't afford it. <laughs> hey, my good God. Let me tell you what I love about Nigerians. Just have a look. I, I can tell that this is my Nigerian brother. They always represent their culture. Always fully dressed. Eh? Hi, are you Nigerian? No. Oh no. Oh, but I thought because of the dress. But anyway, how are you? I am fine, thank you. Where are you from? Guinea. Guinea. Yeah. Hi, baby. Hi. <laughs> oh. oh my God, the dress is so nice. Can I take a video? Yeah, fine. Okay. Yeah. Hey, it's, and I'm so sorry that I thought you are Nigerian. No, okay. Yeah. Oh my God, it's so good. My name is My name is Arwa. Guess where I'm from? Pardon? My name is Arwa. Guess yeah. where I'm from? Jamaica. <laughs> and you? <laughs> Guess where I'm from? Jamaica. Jamaica? No. I'm Kenyan. <laughs> I'm Kenyan. Yeah, it's not Jamaica. Yeah, it's because of the hat? No, I'm just from Jamaica right now. And it's amazing. Have you ever been there? Yeah. You've been to Jamaica? No, no, no. I've never Try and be to Jamaica. It's so good. What language do you people speak? French. Oh, je m'appelle Arwa. Yeah. yeah. My name is Mohammed. How do I say nice to meet you in French? <laughs> How do I say it in French? Yeah. Nice to meet you. Je suis très heureux de te rencontrer. Je suis très ravi de te rencontrer. Ravi de te connaître quoi. Ravi de te connaître. Ravi de te connaître. Connaître. Ravi de te connaître. Ah, it's amazing, man. God bless you, my brother. Have an amazing, amazing stay. Oh, are you guys just leaving? Yeah, my brother. I'm coming. Okay. My brother going to Paris. Ah, big brother. Yeah. Going to Paris. Have an amazing trip. So I just came. I want to have a connecting flight. I'm going back to Kenya. Okay. Yeah, but I live here. You live in yeah. Where? Bristol. Bristol. Yeah. Okay, I'm leaving Bristol. That's nice. Amazing. Thank you so much. God bless. Okay. I really love the outfit. I want to make it for my husband. Okay. Thank okay, you thank so you. much. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. So, guys, I actually failed terribly. I thought that that was a, a Nigerian. I was like, this has to be our brother. Or, but anyway, it, it turned out that he, he, he isn't a Nigerian, which there is no problem about it, because. They, we, are, we are one! Anyway, at the end of the day, we are all one. We are the same people. Hi, how are you? I'm fine, thank you. Guys, another thing that I have to give it up for people in the UK is this. This idea of organizing and separating trash. This is so good and it helps in conserving the environment. Because look at this. This is coffee cups. Then we have the plastic. We have a dry mixed recycling and then we have the general waste. Back home, <laughs> everything together, together. You, <laughs> and in fact, in some areas, they, wouldn't, they, they don't even throw them like properly. They don't even organize them. Leave alone organizing. They don't even have a place to throw the trash. They will just drop it on the floor. But this, this is amazing. Let me know what you guys think about this. And do you have such things in your area? Yeah, amazing, amazing stuff. Ooh. And there's also places to sit. Okay, there's places to sit when you're waiting for your shuttle. I've decided to take the shuttle, guys, and go to the other side. Can I take a video of that? I wanna see. Oh, you are you are emptying it? Yeah. Okay. This is also trash. The the, the box. It's for this. Lunch. It's for. It's for lunch. Oh. Okay. Wow, okay, it's broken. Okay. Wow, this is it's actually really cute, huh? It's it's pretty cute, but anyway, it's it's rubbish, it's rubbish. So, there, and do you do this every day? How what's the 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 intervals of emptying the trash? 
<laughs> okay, now after after you take away the trash and put it, you're gonna come back again? Tomorrow? Yeah. To, so once a day? No, today, today. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I, I don't know me. No. Okay, it's okay. Night. It's okay. But thank you. You are doing an amazing job. Okay. R moves from the north to the south terminal, and this is where we are waiting. Let me go and go towards the end. Okay. Let me wait till the end. So here we go. Okay. Yeah. London is raining. Whew. I don't like this weather at all. It's super cold. Cold accompanied by wind. Oh my god. It's not the easiest. London is actually really beautiful, okay? Because look at the trees also. Me, I love trees. I never used to be such a, a nature babe, nature obsessed babe. But these days, I have learned that nature is so beautiful and it has some calming effect. So I'm proud to tell you that London is really beautiful. Even away from the really tall, long buildings that we all see, the skyscrapers. It's, it's an amazing place because just look at that. There is nice coordination of the transport system. They've made work really, really easy. All right. And you can see this is not driven by anybody. There's no human being driving it. So we are getting ready to leave. And that's it. See? So this is one cabinet. The, I don't know if it is cabinet. What? There's one. There's two. And there's three. Let me try and see if I'm gonna catch the last one. So there's, this is another one. And then this is another one. This is literally the last. You see? All right. Okay. No, this is the last. So getting in is on the other side. Okay. This is the last. You see? There's nobody. So getting in is on the other side. Getting out is on this side. You see? Amazing stuff. Hey, at this point, I need to try and be a tour guide because the way I'm taking you guys away along with me is amazing. But I want you guys to feel like you're part of my trip. So that is where we are going, the South Terminal, and we are from the North Terminal. The thing with London is it doesn't have that like wild aggressive rain or no it's gonna be the small small droplets but you feel so cold you you are trembling and it has this wind that is very aggressive i don't know if you guys have ever experienced the type of wind that makes you feel cold inside your skin like in, in you feel like cold in your heart <laughs> last person left still showing you guys around let me know what you guys think about this cute little terminal exchange from one terminal to the next one look at that see it see it amazing stuff and it's also really really clean i'm so in love with how these people maintain most of their things really really clean cleanliness is top notch <laughs> And also there's another one here, a non-recyclable waste bin. So the things that are not recyclable are here and you can find them here. There's liquids in cans, food items, dark plastic containers. How I pray that one day our Africa and Caribbean is going to get to this level. Because this is going to be massive. But you know what? I must give it up for the Jamaican airport. It's really clean. And Kenya airport as well. The, the Jomo Kenya. Oh! my good god did you guys just catch me lacking i have been in jamaica so long that i have forgotten my airport i'm literally saying the kenyan airport <laughs> it's called the jomo kenyatta international airport and i believe the jamaican the jamaican one in kingston is called norman Mali. norman Mali airport let me know if i've said the right thing or i am mixing it i am mixing it up <laughs> 
but the two airports they are really really clean they are trying their best as well so this one is for the dry mixed recycling one thing that i must admit is i barely read read that anytime i have waste i just come and drop them <laughs> There is another one here. Oh, wait a minute. Are these ones for charging the phone or this is for the, for the shuttle? Yeah, it might be. It might be for the shuttle. Because they say test before red flag on. I don't really understand this. Anybody who knows what these ones are for, let me know. I don't know if it's for the, for the shuttles or it's for just general use. Oh, let me show you something that is also cute in this terminal is here you can be able to find all the information there's the local buses from Gatwick South Terminal the time you see guys I told you that there's like three minutes difference and then there's no this one's at the buses seven minutes this one is gonna arrive at 1701 1701 14 minutes away so it's good you can be able to know where you are and where how far is your bus we also have this one, let's say if you are lost and you don't know which bus to take, there's this, the local buses. So let's say this one, Crowley, Crowley. So you just come here and look for, for the routes, for the bus routes, and then it will tell you exactly where it goes, right? This is the map. Perfect. Extra lifts. Route 20 now runs 24 hours a day. Okay, amazing stuff. Look at how beautiful outside is. Let me go outside actually. Let me go outside and show you the greenness of this place. Let me use the lift right here. Hi. I this one's. Huh? I think it's going down. Oh, I'm also going down. Are you? Yeah. Okay. What is this VIP for? Ooh, I do not know. Is there like a secret room? It must, <laughs> be, yeah. it must be a secret room because it says VIP. I think it has opened. <laughs> they need to tell us what that is. Say VIP? Okay. So are we not VIPs? <laughs> Sadly, no. Oh, it's actually really raining. It's raining, man. How are you? You didn't even tell me your name. I'm a YouTuber. Really? Yes, my name is Arwa. Oh, cool. And you? you? I'm Kate. I've just started Kate. working here. <laughs> Where do you work, Kate? I'm going to be cabin crew for EasyJet. What? EasyJet. Wow, you just started work? Yeah. Oh, man, that's so good. Congratulations. Yes. Congratulations. How does it feel? Scary, but oh. yeah, I'll get used to it. No, you're gonna do so well. I can feel it. Yeah. You're gonna be so great. Let me tell you something. I'm 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 Kenyan, okay? And okay. I had I'd gone to Jamaica for the first time. I was so scared. I was so scared because I was like with all the things that the media yeah. says about Jamaica, I didn't yeah, know what oh, to yeah. do. But you know what? I did so great. Did you? I did so well. I I'd made love new friends. You'd love yeah. to go to Jamaica. It's the best place I've ever been. Really? I'm not a Jamaican, I'm Kenyan, but I'm always speaking positively about Jamaica. Oh, I no. wish everybody would go. It's amazing. I love the Caribbean. It's, a, it's <laughs> so beautiful. Don't worry, sweetheart, you're going to do great. Thank you. You are going to you are gonna rock it. And one day you will say there's this lady I met, a random girl in the airport, and she told me I'm going to do great. Aww. You got all it takes and then look at you. Thank you. And it's normal to feel to feel a little nervous. And you know how I encourage myself? Anytime I feel a little nervous, I say, it's because the mind knows I'm about to reach greatness. So it's a little scared. <laughs> Is this, are you on holiday in England now? I live in, in, in England. Live I live in Bristol. So I just okay. went to visit Jamaica. So I just came back. I thought of showing guys around. Because I'm, I'm a YouTuber, I told you, right? Yeah. I thought of showing guys around and be, before I travel back to, to Bristol. Awful, yeah. you come from Jamaica to this weather. <laughs> it's, the weather is crazy. Yeah. <laughs> it's so crazy, man. Oh, yeah. Wow. <laughs> but don't wa please, when you get time, visit Jamaica. Oh, yeah. yeah I've been to beautiful. Barbados. Really. You've been to Barbados? Yeah. Jamaica is so beautiful. Have you been to other Caribbean countries? No, 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 no. I wanted to, but you know, I have a baby, actually. Oh, I have a, yeah. yes, it's just one year, so I didn't want to leave him for long. Yeah, so I decided 
because at times I would call him on the phone and he doesn't have my time anymore. It's just like, ah, and that's not, that's so unlike him because he's always a mommy's boy. And I was like, no, let me go and attend to my baby. So are your, are your YouTube videos yes. about your traveling? Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, and, and the amazing people I meet on the way. And it's just a beautiful experience. Yeah. I don't even know what to, to do now. I want to like show people around and the and the and the weather's just messed everything. Oh god man because look oh 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 it's crazy to just leave the Caribbean and then come to this. I know it's so weird it's so weird it's so depressing <laughs> let me tell you something Kate right oh yeah let me tell you something, I had never experienced depression until I relocated to the UK. It's so depressing because you just be sitting and you're like, oh no, now where, where do I go? It's raining, it's cold. Oh. You probably got jet lag as well. <laughs> crazy jet lag, man, crazy jet lag. Oh my good God. I've seen your, 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 your jet flying, the easy jet. Yeah, Does it go to Jamaica? I think they... They only do European flights. Oh, oh. They, they go to Egypt, except Egypt and Morocco. They're the okay, two exceptions. So Egypt and Morocco. Like Europe and North Africa. Okay, so you are, you, are, you are going to be flying every day? I believe so. Yeah. <laughs> That's going to be so cute. Yeah. Growing up, I always wanted to be an air hostess. Did you? Yeah, but you know, oh. things happen and now I'm a YouTuber. <laughs> wow. So yeah. Is that your... Is that what you do for a living? Yeah. That's brilliant. Yes, it's brilliant. I, I, I have to, now I, tra I travel regularly different different places. So I actually I actually still love what I do. That's so cool. Yeah. It's, it's cool. I have That's to look big. you up. Yes? What, what was yes, your let, name let, me, let, me, let me show you. Sorry, oh, you're feeling so cold. Me. Yeah, I have Reynolds disease. I get really cold. Oh, hands. sorry, sorry. It's all right. <laughs> I can live with it. Um, okay. Well, I've been you. looking up cabin crew hairstyles <laughs> on my YouTube page. <laughs> Let me see. Sean Agua. Here. Here. Let me just subscribe. Yeah, this is it. Yeah. Sean Agua. Let me show you my, my sister's one as well. D Mwango. This is her page. She's the one who took me to Jamaica. Yeah, she's also an amazing girl. Amazing. So you'll just... Is this your, your vehicle you're going with? I haven't actually looked at that bus I'm going with. Okay. So this is it. I, do you know I went and cooked in the river? Oh, wow. Cook, yeah, it was so good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, that's, wow. so which, that's... which vehicle are you going with? I'm going Which to bus? Red Hill, so I think okay. that's the 100. Okay. Oh, do you know, I've only just moved here from the Lake District. So oh, okay, so you are not so sure. I don't know London okay. at all. Oh, this isn't even London, is it? Let's go check. Should, should, should I go check for you there? Yeah, I'll just check on... I can't remember what side I'm meant to be on either. <laughs> when you say you are going, so I can, I can actually ask this lady? Um, I'm going to Red Hill. Red Hill? Red Hill. Okay, let me ask her. I think it says on there, actually. Okay. Um, Let's yes, 100. So this is southbound, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. So maybe need to be over the other side. Yeah, you are, you are this in the north northbound. So meaning you have to be on the other side? No, I don't know. Um, Let me ask you, how are you, mommy? Are we in the south or the northbound? This side is? It's south. South, yes. We are in the south. So but the bus is in the north south. This is south and this is south. So the bus is in northbound or something. Where do you want to go to? Red Hill. Red Hill? Red Hill? Yeah. yeah. Red Hill. Number three, yeah? 100. I think it's oh. either 100 or 400 and 30. That's, That's a big question. Yeah. yeah. You have to ask when they arrive. Ask okay. the bus driver. Yeah. Because yeah. I really don't know what to tell you. If it's yeah. on the side okay, of the driver. Don't worry. But I know Red Hill. I heard about Red Hill, but I don't know if on if it's this side or the other side. side. Yeah, I think that's the best thing to do. Wait for the driver and, and ask. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's gonna be fine. Right? What's your name? Fatima. Are you from Somali? No, Portugal. Oh, 
but my origins are West Africa. Oh, Cape okay, okay. You, I, you, I actually thought you are from Somali, Somali. Oh. because of the name. Fatima. Fatima in yes. Kenya, I'm Kenyan. Mm -hmm. So in Kenya, we don't say Fatima, we say Fatuma. Fatuma or Fatima. Yes. Yeah. Let me give you a Kenyan high five, Fatuma. Fatima. So yeah, I, I actually said, I was like, ah, she's probably from our side. She's but we are from our <laughs> side. We are, you know, I was like, at times you'll just be walking and somebody will tell you, go back to Africa, go back to your country. Yeah, but when I was there, when you were there you feel like a queen. I felt so welcome. Yeah, I'm nice. trying to recruit her to also go to Jamaica yeah, as well. <laughs> It's so good meeting new people. That's something that I normally miss because when I'm in the UK, at times I just want to talk to black people. Because with the whites, and they don't want to be racist, the whites you never know. You never know. You'll try and say, hello, and they, they're going to put up a middle finger. They're going to. It, it, you know, at times you just like, I, um, even with her, she, she started talking to me and I was like, okay, let's, let's go with the flow. But I know my people. Uh, if I see someone who is black, it's no matter what, age, no matter they what. Will answer you, they will exactly, talk to you they will talk to you and they're always willing to help. That's why I told her, let me ask my fellow black lady for direction. <laughs> <laughs> and she said, Do you know her? I said, No, she's black. Like, That's all I needed to know. She will help, you. She will help me, <laughs> even when they come to us. Yeah. We treat them as the same way we are treating our own. Yeah, if at times even better. Around, you know, because in my country, when they see a white person, it's like they've seen God. They will just be treating them better. <laughs> you go to hotels, they are given first priorities. Why? Because they are white. But when you come here, oh, they're going to treat you. Anyway, yeah, there are, are some who are good. Yeah, we are we, we, we are built different. <laughs> Break us down. Okay, let me show you my, my YouTube channel. Yes. So uh, it's right here. Here's YouTube. Yeah. <laughs> Just put it there and I will follow okay. you. Thank you. Sorry, your name is? Sean. But you Sean. can call me Sharon. Sean is my YouTube name, but my name mm -hmm. is Sharon. Here. Oh, nice. Oh, nice to meet okay. you. Okay. Nice to meet you. So, what language do you speak? Because cause that's not English. Portuguese. Portuguese. Okay. Okay. That's really nice. I, 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 I have our mother, mother language. That it's Creole. Creole. Yes. Can you speak something for me? Can 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 you say how was your day? That's really long. <laughs> that's really long. <laughs> That's really Today, nice. Today, it was a very nice day. I okay. met someone special. Oh, thank you so much. Yeah, thank you so much, my sister. If I'm supposed to say that in Swahili, mm -hmm. I would say, I would say, Leo Nisikun Jem. Nimekutana, Namschana, Bigger than mine. Okay, all, all the all the words I say, Leo Nisikun Jem. Nice to meet you. Better, yes. No, like, nice to meet you. Let me fry up the corn. Let me fry up the corn. Let me fry up the corn. Yes. Nice to meet you. Like, I'm happy to see you. Oh my god. I think I, I'm, I'm, I'm going to go. I'm beginning to have like really bad sinuses. Do you? I have a sweet here. Do you want to share? Yes. Yeah. At least you have a bad Thank you. Thank you so much. Bye bye. Oh. Don't forget, go to Jamaica. Okay. Today, I'm so happy. Today, clap. I'm so happy. <laughs> and nothing gonna stop me. And nothing is gonna come on my way today. I'm so happy. Clap. I'm so happy. Jump. So, I have come to the departure side. So um, I have shown you guys all the all the sides of this airport and you guys have been able to like know what different people think about Jamaica. There are people who generally think that it's a great place to be. And you know what I told you guys at times it's not quite easy to interact with the um, there are people who think that Jamaica is quite an interesting place to be and it has been an amazing video at least we have tried to spread the word about how beautiful Jamaica is and we have gotten different opinions of people of course there are people who think it's a great place to be and since this is not a place to to share negative comments and, and opinion I'm not gonna put all those negative stuff on here they can take their negativity elsewhere <laughs> 
Oh my good God. Let me know guys what you people think about this video. Honest opinion. Some people have just arrived right now. It's a busy, busy, busy network. Right about now, I'm gonna go back to my hotel room and um, rest a little bit because I'm supposed to travel tomorrow. Tomorrow is finally the day that I am going to meet my baby. Yeah? I'm gonna meet my baby. I I'm so excited. Guys, I'm gonna see you guys in the next one. Same time, same place, always. Help me advocate for my channel. Let's get to 150. Road to 150 subscribers. Make sure you give this video a big thumbs up, like, share, and subscribe from me to you. Bye bye.